Hello everyone and welcome back to another edition of My Scruffy Ideas. I am Tina Gale and today I have a layout for you that's a little different. Actually it's a lot different from what I normally do and this was created with some files from a new company that's doing cut files for your silhouette and other digital cutters called Just Nick and I'll have all of the links down below. So the My Scraps and More design team is collaborating with uh, Nicole and we had the chance to get some of the cut files and play with them and I started out with several different ideas and I had several cuts that I had made and it ended up going in a total different direction and I ended up only using one of the cut files but I have the other uh, images cut and so be looking for some more layouts because I definitely will be doing them I already have ideas in my mind and so originally when I started this, I wanted to try doing a white on white layout. I love the looks of them. It is really far away from my typical style and stuff, but I've been wanting to try one. And so that's what I started with this one. I have the cut file that's cut in white. I started with white cardstock. And then um, I was kind of contemplating putting a little bit of coloring behind it, like you see I'm doing here. And my daughter came in, I asked her and she's like, yeah, I would, I, I would put something back there and so I just took I don't have the gelatos and I don't have a lot of watercolors and all that kind of stuff so I just took my close to my heart inks and I opened up the case and this here is a water brush and so when I do my splatters with my inks that's kind of what I'm doing right there and then I had my Tim Holtz distress um, pad and I just took some ink on it just real lightly and this is, this color is, I believe it's Juniper, yeah, it's Juniper ink. And so when it goes off, it's really, really pale. And so I just started at the middle of the area that I wanted and just kind of rubbed in a circular motion going out. Because um, that cut file is just going to go to that um, side over there and you'll see when I, when I pull it over here. And so I just wanted just a little bit of color going past it. So that's how I did my background. And then I also had some... Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist that I sprayed and it was kind of a clear metallic and also um, a silver splatter that I did on it and I did all of that off camera because I have a box that I do it all in. Then I wanted to create some borders on the top and the bottom and so I have some washi and the first one I put down is silver that's also from close to my heart and it's this silver with this geometric pattern and you'll see how it kind of ties into the rest of it and then this here is uh, an aqua color so it matches that inking that I did with white polka dots and that's from my mind's eye and it's an older set um, it's from the cut and paste collection and so I've had it in my stash for quite a while but the colors matched perfectly with what I wanted to do okay so I just put the one strip at the top and then I put the silver peeking out underneath the one at the bottom and so here's my cut file from Just Nick. It's absolutely gorgeous. And the reason that I chose this is my photo is from the Flower and Garden Festival. That was my um, Tattered Angels inks that I was trying to show you, but it kind of went by really quick. So the photo is from the Flower and Garden Festival from this year, and it's the Topi areas from the Frozen movie. So it's Anna and Elsa. And so this cut file. I loved the flowers to tie in with the Flower and Garden Festival. And then the ones that are thinner, they kind of reminded me of the snowflakes and the different things if you've watched the movies. So I thought it was a perfect photo for what I wanted to do on this layout because it had that icy frozen feel, but yet the flowers to tie in for the Flower and Garden Festival. And so the whole time that I'm kind of doing this and I'm just working through step by step, I had no idea when I started where I was going or what I was going to do other than I wanted a white on white layout, which you can tell it's not totally white on white since I put the colors. Um, but by the time I finished and the, the layout evolved, I have to tell you, this is one of my favorite layouts that I've made in a long time. And I have a wire that hangs in my studio that I hang layouts on and kind of change it up. And so this layout's going to get put up so that I can enjoy it for a while before it goes in an album. And plus, this is from our 2015 trip that we just did um, this month, and so I haven't even gotten an album started with it yet because I have too many other trips. Um, so yeah, I'm going, 
I'm going to totally enjoy it. And this may have encouraged me to go ahead and maybe do another white on white and keep it truly white on white without any of the inking. Um, we'll see. I really enjoyed it. And so now I'm just going to go ahead here, adhere this cut file down and I'm using my liquid glass. If you watch my videos, that's what I always use on, on anything that I put down like this, die cuts or my thickers that you have to go ahead and put um, adhesive in or adhesive on to get them to stick because the chipboard ones don't always stick. So while I'm kind of gluing this down, let me invite you to come over to My Scraps and More to the forum. And this is also for today's challenge, the Mix It Up Challenge. And so you can join us there and create a layout. And my challenge is it's including to try something new. And so mine was to use a white on white layout. So I want your layout to be white on white and to use no patterned paper. So you're going to have to pull in your stash. And like you'll see here, I have cardstock, I have inks, I have washi tape, and I had my embellishments. You could also use stamping, but no patterned paper and start with a white on white um, pattern. White on, what am I trying to say? White on white cardstock to do your, to do your layout with. So you could even ink, like this file would be really pretty if you just kind of revved the, the Tim Holtz Distressing ink over each one of the flowers and you could color it that away and then put it down. That would be gorgeous. Okay, so here is my photo, and I have went ahead and I matted it on some white cardstock. Um, I was contemplating doing it with a different color, but I really liked the white, and it kept with my theme and helped me follow the rules more. <laughs> but, um, so it just kind of pops it up, and I'm going to end up putting some pop dots on it. And then I wanted just a little bit of color to go in with these flowers and around the layout to help emphasize the Flower and Garden Festival too. Um, so these are sequins from the Maggie Holmes um, confetti collection. And so in the bag it has some large gold ones, which I, I still don't think I've used them on anything. I'm having a hard time because they're bigger. Um, but I'm, I'm going to use them. And then it has the pink and then kind of a raspberry pink flower. And then the little aqua the circle sequins. And I've used the aqua ones a lot. I think I've used a few of the pink ones, but not very many. And so I felt like this was um, really a nice touch. It kind of matched in with the flowers that are in the background of these topiaries. Because um, they were in the pinks and the reds and stuff. And so it gave that pop of color on the white and then of course the aqua is just tying in the rest of the colors that I've, that I've put in it and so if you've watched the movie with the, the snow and the ice and all of that I just felt like it, it went really well and it really told the story um, well and normally I don't do a single page layout for just a topiary at Walt Disney World because they usually repeat a lot of the topiaries, but each year they add new ones. And so this one was a new one for this year. And so I decided to go ahead and let it be just the one photo on the one layout. I know some people have issues with that, but I felt like it deserved its own little page since it was new to this year's Flower and Garden Festival. Um, but normally I will put several topiaries together on one on one page. So I went ahead and just put some pop dots onto the back of that and that's just going to allow me to um, put just a little bit more dimension because I'm not really doing a whole lot to this page at all. There's there's really not a lot of pattern paper, not layers of pattern paper like I normally do. Um, it's just the two layers of cardstock and then some washi and then you know, usually I have lots of embellishments and lots of tags and things like that and journaling blocks. And there's not going to be a, a lot of journaling on this layout either. I'm just going to simply add a title and write what the topiaries are and stuff, where they were at and what park they're in. So if they ever get separated out of the album, all of that information will be on there. 
And now I'm just going to put my title on and I decided to play on the song from the movie of Let It Go and just put Let It Grow for the Flower and Garden Festival again. And so these stickers are some chipboard stickers. They're from Studio Calico and they're called Notarize. And I love the font on it and I thought it went really well with the, the style of the flowers and stuff like that. So I'm putting that out and then I'm just going to take my liquid glass again and I'll cut away so you don't have to sit and watch me uh, adhere all it down. But I did, anytime I use the chipboard thickers, I always use my liquid glass to, to adhere them because they're going to slide off if you don't. And then really there's not anything left except for my journaling, I believe. Um, so I'm just... When I put the adhesive on there, then I go ahead and put like a clear acrylic block over the top of it just for a little bit of extra weight um, until it dries. So if you've been following me, you know I've had com just computer issue after computer issue when I came back from vacation. And I am so excited because this is the first video I've been able to upload and use. I ended up having to take my computer in and they feared that my hard drive was failing and so um, I went ahead and bought a new computer and it was supposed to be so simple to back everything, well I had everything backed up and then just switch it over and it has not been simple at all. It's been just one nightmare after another. And so I've spent, let's see, I went on Sunday to take it in and I'm just now getting to where everything is finally working on the new computer and so I have fingers crossed that this video is going to go through with no problem and that I'll get the still shots put in so if the still shots are here then you know I had success there and then I will let you know on the next video if it uploaded as quick as it's supposed to with the new computer so I am really excited that this is working so far. Um, hopefully there are no more glitches. So be sure if you're not a subscriber already, I'd love to have you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hop on over to my Facebook page and like it and you can see all the details at my blog as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you real soon.